We can do that. Democratic candidates all over Massachusetts came to Newton this week to make a pitch to voters for the 2014 Democratic state primaries in September. We have problems to solve, but we can solve those problems. Candidates for governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general, and treasurer each were given five minutes to speak at Mason Rice Elementary School to make their case on how to make the Commonwealth better. Most of them agreed that the biggest issue plaguing Massachusetts was jobs. Jobs, economic insecurity. Uh, uh, and job growth and job creation. And those are tied to economic growth. Uh, more job and economic opportunities for folks who are struggling on the margins. Current Governor Deval Patrick has stated that he will not run for re-election this year. Gubernatorial candidates seeking to replace the incumbent Patrick included Juliet Kayyem, Newton resident Donald Berwick, and Newton native Stephen Grossman. In order to help boost jobs and the economy, the Democrats believe that an increase in minimum wage would do the trick. Raise the minimum wage, more families have sustainable income, and guess what they do when that happens? They go out and buy cars, which means that we get the tax revenue from that, and they go out to restaurants and we get the tax revenue from that. We're going to be bringing that bill to the floor with the goal of uh, hopefully having the highest minimum wage in the country. There is a belief that an increase in the minimum wage would result in an increase in unemployment. However, Kayyem, who spent time working with Homeland Security, disagrees. They're, they're apples and oranges, and, and I, think, I think that the idea of coupling them is just a trick. Another large issue that the Democratic candidates tackled was education. Universal pre-K. Oklahoma had universal pre-K 15 years ago. Georgia has universal pre-K. We consider ourselves number one education. Grossman's sentiments of improving the education system in Massachusetts were echoed by Kayyem, who expressed her desire to add a financial literacy curriculum in high schools. It is something that, um, that is going to train our 17, 18, 19 year olds to think smart about the debts that they incur. Meanwhile, Berwick, who takes great pride in being called the second most dangerous man in America by Glenn Beck, is striving for statewide equity in the education system along with social justice. It needs a place that is unapologetic about committing to the progressive agenda of social justice and compassion and equality. Candidates for the Massachusetts Treasury were not short of opinions either. One of the party candidates for treasurer was Barry Feingold, who warned against casinos in the state. I have serious concerns about gaming. I think it's not the right direction for our state. Lieutenant gubernatorial candidate Mike Lake shared the same feelings as well. President Clinton had done a study in 1996 that showed that within a 50-mile radius of a casino, unemployment increases by 25 percent. 